Hi, it's me, you from the future. I have sent this video back into the past to wish you a happy birthday. Let's get to the questions. Ruby asks, can they be about anything? Yes, they can be about anything. Gigglepop asks, do you like have your birthday be something special or prefer to let it fly under the radar? Um, kind of a bit of both. I mean, I still work on my birthday, but I like to treat myself to something special too. Grace T asks, if you had the chance, what would you say to yourself on your previous birthday and to yourself on your next birthday? Well, to myself on my previous birthday, I would make this video and answer some questions that my previous self had um, for the future going forward. For myself on the next birthday, I would say, happy birthday. Zav is a dank meme asks, what should I have for lunch? I don't know. Just like a salad. Cass Browns asks, What do you regret? <sighs> a lot of things. Too many things. That's why I'm making this video. To try to right some of those wrongs. Maggie asks, If you weren't limited by time, money, distance, etc., what would be your ideal birthday plans? That's a good one. Um, not limited by distance, I would definitely get together with uh, a lot of friends that I don't see normally in day-to-day -day life due to, um, long distance. Um, if money weren't an issue, then I would spend money on whatever I could. I need money. The Schmook Network asks, what do you want for your birthday? For my birthday, I want you to subscribe to my Patreon at patreon.com slash schmook. There's new reward tiers up there, and they're different from what they were before. Check it out. Pog Ryan asks, hey Joe, what will be changing for us lowly $3 tier patrons, and will there be puns involved? No, there will not be puns involved. However, um, the $3 tier is changing in two ways. One, all the tiers are now monthly rather than paid when I actually release a video. This is because um, I am working on videos even when I don't release them and also because I'm trying to get videos out more consistently than I have over the past several years. Um, also, the $3 tier is now cheaper. Uh, it is now $2.69. And part of the reason that, part of the reason the $3 tier is cheaper is that I am now trying to focus on other rewards that are would otherwise be at higher tiers and those are now also priced lower to try to encourage people to actually get them ruby asks question for the q a best song of each year since 2011 not counting 2022 since it's still pretty new well i'm from the future so this is all ancient history to me best song of 2011 i don't know gangnam style I don't remember what released in 2011. 2012, um, TNT by Captain Sparkles. 2013, Can't Hold Us by Macklemore. 2014, um, Can't Feel My Face by whatever artist did that song. That's actually, that's actually, that song came out in 2015. So that's my favorite song for 2015. Um, 2016, I'm also, it, this is not correct. I'm saying a bunch of mainstream music. My favorite songs are probably like Zebrahead or Nate Wants to Battle. I have no idea what year any of those songs come out because I've listened to them all the time since they came out. And I don't remember when that started. Um, also, I have no idea what year Mandatory Fun by Weird Al came out. My favorite song of whatever that year is is probably one of the songs off that album. Best song of the year for last year is um, Weep. It's Weep for Menethrin from Wheel of Time, which isn't even on the actual soundtrack. That's the best song that was released last year. I mean, in 2021. I'm from the future. Sav is a dank meme asks, Also, what should I have for lunch? Uh, I mean, a salad's probably not enough. Also add maybe like a... Um, uh, maybe like a... a 
I, I don't want to tell you to eat unhealthy, but also, uh, you know what? Life is short. Have like some cookies. I don't care. Sounds good to me. Jonathan DJ Curitan asks, what's your favorite region? Hoenn. Andrew Warwick asks, what are your ideal plots for the next movies in the Sonic Saga? That's a great question uh, that I'm going to make a whole separate video on. Um, because I have a plan for what I would do with the Sonic Cinematic Universe. Um, but I would want to go over like what worked in Sonic 2 and what worked in Sonic Adventure 2 and my ideal version specifically of Sonic 3 and then what I would do with like spin-off content beyond that. Look forward to that video, it's probably going to be my next upload. Get to know me, Sonic the Hedgehog Edition. Favorite game, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Favorite character, either Shadow or Eggman, depending on the week. Worst game, um, I haven't played enough of the games to really have a least favorite. I, like, I assume 06 is the worst, but I've never actually played it, you know? Worst character, ooh, that's tough. Uh, that's really tough, um, because even like, Elise from Sonic 06 has her fans, and I think that's valid. I think that character has potential. I I don't have a least favorite character in Sonic. There are just characters that I feel are not used properly. Favorite memory. Um, whenever I went to see Sonic 2 a second time, and I got to watch it without people cheering during the final battle and end credits scene so I could actually hear the dialogue. Favorite show? I don't want to spoil whether or not the Netflix show is good, uh, so that's, that's a spoiler. Not a big fan of Sonic X, never actually watched uh, Sad I Am or the original show, um, so by process of elimination I guess Sonic Boom. Favorite piece of media, shows, movie, comic. Don't have a strong opinion on any of the shows. Um, Sonic 2 honestly really is up there. As far as comics, and this is my actual favorite of all of these, uh, of all the non-games media, uh, is probably mm, uh, the Silver Saga uh, by Ian Flynn. It's a story about Silver going into an alternate future where Knuckles used some of the powers he has in the comics continuity to become this uh, Master Emerald God thing. Uh, and Silver fights against this AU Knuckles, and it's, it's a great story. I love it so much. Favorite fan project? Sonic Adventure 2 reanimated, uh, because I wanted to do something similar to that, and then like, that came out this same week that I had the idea to do basically that. And I was like, oh, cool. I don't have to organize this myself. Someone else already did. Hi, it's me, Editing Joe, from even farther in the future when I edited this video. Um, I left that story in because it's a funny story, but actually my favorite Sonic fan project would be the Snapcube fan dub of Sonic 06. I've literally watched it like 10 times, and it's that's like a feature length that's basically a movie. I don't know why I didn't think of that as a fan project, but oh well. Favorite level? In the whole franchise, favorite level? Favorite level of the whole franchise is tough. Uh, I'm going to say Sea Bottom Segway from Lost World. That's not my actual favorite level, um, but it's a fun answer. Favorite song? Also tough. I don't know. City Escape. Escape from the City, probably. It's just a banger. It's hard to top. Um, Night of the Wind is also up there. Favorite Sonic? Um, Boom is the funniest. Mainline Games is Sonic. Uh, and Ben Schwartz has the most interesting story. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What am I talking about? My favorite Sonic is Sonic Adventure 2 Sonic. What am I, what am I saying? Real It's Truly Chris asks, Ride on target? Stay on target. Will Locatelli asks, Should I keep following the MCU closely, or does it just get worse from here on out? My philosophy with the MCU at this point 
is watch what looks interesting to you and skip out on other stuff them saying it's the culmination of everything that everything has been building towards and that you have to watch it to understand everything going forward is all marketing everything it, it, the secret with the mcu is that it's all actually just a bunch of standalone stories that have very archetype characters that's uh that then also have an arc stretched across multiple movies. So just watch what looks interesting to you. And if people are telling you that you have to watch other stuff or you have to watch one that doesn't look interesting to understand the next one, ignore them until you watch the movie and realize, oh, I am missing some context for such and such character. And if you like such and such character, go back and watch it. If not, then just say it's a bad movie. I didn't know what was up with this character and move on. San San Ray asks, hey, is COVID still a thing? Also, you rich yet? Sadly, COVID is still a thing. Uh, and no, not yet. Real It's Truly Chris asks, you okay, bro? It's getting better. Jonathan DJ Curitan asks, what's a source of joy for you? Is it the same as it was in the past? Yes. Yes, it was. Wolf Bellamy asks, can you grow a beard yet? Not yet. Um, currently, I like my face more clean shaven, um, but I'm only one of many possible futures. You know, your, your gender may be less fluid in futures where you don't become uh, me. Katie Draws Things asks, I'm torn between how are you and how many times have you watched Spider-Verse now? Um, I'm doing okay, better now. Um, I have watched Spider-Verse twice as many times as I did when I was you in the past. Fedra asks, did you make it yet? No? Well, frick, what did we do wrong? You didn't even let me answer. You didn't, you didn't even let me answer. And that's all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. I must away back to the future.